hey y'all welcome back to my channel today i'm coming to you all with a new video today i'm going to be reviewing the new laura mercier um, camouflage brighten and correct concealer this is like a concealer pen well it's like duo sided where one is a brightener and one is a regular uh correcting concealer i'm really excited to pick this up this retails for 32 dollars, and it comes in 16 shades when it comes to concealer i'm very very picky so lately i've been trying to push myself to try other concealers because right now i just stick to three my Givenchy concealer my urban decay and my dior one i have very creasy under eyes so like i pretty much stick to whatever works when, when it comes to my under eyes but let's read a little bit about this one one full coverage concealer with a weightless formula to quickly erase imperfections and brighten up the under eye area this is full cover finish is matte and um they put a lot of emphasis on uh brightening and blurring underneath your under eyes and adding hydration also back underneath the under eye because under eye area is very sensitive for everybody and you definitely don't want a concealer that's going to dry out your under eyes. But anyway, let's just get right into this review. Okay, y'all, this is what it looks like. Turn it around so y'all can see. This side is the brightener and this side is the corrector. So this side you will use, I guess, to like um, cover like your dark circles or spot tree. And then the other side you will uh, use to brighten your under eyes. So this is what the corrector looks like and the side to brighten looks like and i have the shade 5w i was going to get 5n at first but i decided just to go with 5w so i'm going to go in with the correct the corrector side underneath my eye okay and i have um of course my ysl primer on and i have this tom ford flawless glow drop this is the um, foundation that has like the drop red let's just go in with this okay that's what it looks like i'm not going to use a lot of concealer like i never do and this is like very clean Even though this side that I used was the regular conceal side, it I don't know, my under eye looks kind of bright to me. I don't know how it looks on camera, but this looks very bright. Well, not very bright, but it looks like <laughs> brighter. Okay, y'all. All right, so okay, y'all. So this is what my under eyes look like with the regular concealed side. So now I'm going to go in with the brightener. Even though I feel like this did a really good job at brightening my under eyes to me but anyway let's <laughs> do this side anyway okay y'all so this is what my under eyes look like with both the concealer and the brightener on i really feel like it didn't make that much of a difference i like it so far I do like the coverage on this. I feel like you could build this up to full coverage because right now, to me, this is more like light to medium. Matter of fact, let me swatch it because I don't know why I wasn't thinking to do that first. So this would be the regular side that you would use for concealer. And this would be the side that you would use to brighten. Okay. So that's the concealer and that's the brightener. So it's just a tad bit difference. This is definitely more cool. But so far, I like it. Okay, um, I do feel like my under eyes are starting to crease. 
especially right here. I don't know if y'all can see it. I can see the crease that's starting to happen. I'm not gonna use my regular um, loose setting powder that I always use for under my eyes today. I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier um, Secret Blurring Powder for under eyes and I have the shade too. So this is what that looks like. I'm gonna use this today. Okay, y'all, this is what my under eyes look like. So I'm gonna wear this for a few hours, then I'll come back to let y'all know what I think. But so far, I like it. It's very smooth. It's easy to blend out. It's not drying at all. Um, I know some people have really dry under eyes or certain concealers dry out um, people under eyes. I don't think anyone will have an issue with this concealer. I do like it. I just feel like once you put it on, you kind of have to like set it quick because as you see, I was starting to crease a little bit under my eye until um, I fixed it with this setting powder. So yeah, I'll just come back and let y'all know what I think after wearing it for a few hours. Okay, y'all, I came back right quick because my under eyes are starting to crease. So I'm gonna go over, um, set my eyes again. This time I'm gonna use a loose powder and I figure I'll use the loose uh, Laura Mercier powder even though this is not one of my favorites. Okay, y'all, just the fact that it started creasing up on me so quick and I had to go back in and use um, a regular loose powder, that's gonna take some points away for, from it for me because I wanna use a concealer that I'm able to set with anything, whether it's a loose powder, pressed powder, like I don't wanna crease with concealer at all, especially not within 10 minutes, but I'll be back. Hey okay, y'all, I'm back after having this concealer on pretty much all day. As you can see, um, creasing has happened. I've started to crease under my under eyes, especially under my left eye. Am I um, surprised that I uh, started to crease under my eyes? No, because within the first 15 minutes, of having this on, I started to crease and I automatically knew like, this is just not gonna work for me. I'm not saying this is a bad concealer, it just did not work. As you can see, it is not crease proof. <laughs> like, um, I know I would have to go back and set my eyes again with the loose powder and I pretty much recorded that so y'all could see it. But an hour later, I had to go back in <laughs> with the powder again to stop the creasing. And as you can see, that did not help. So basically I set my under eyes three times today and this is the result I got. I do like the fact that this is a duo concealer where one conceals and one side brightens. As far as like being um, a regular concealer and a brightener, to me on my uh, complexion, the brightness side didn't really do that much of a difference from the regular concealed side. I don't know, maybe it might really like brighten underneath your under eyes, give you like such a bright, bright look, but I feel like on me it didn't do that, even though I didn't go in with a ton of concealer under my eyes. I don't know, this is just like you know, an okay product. Will I use it again? I'm, I'm gonna try it again and see Maybe if I could figure out how to set it. I don't know. Because as you see, I didn't use a lot of products. So that's not the issue of maybe I use too much concealer. I, I feel like I hardly use any. But if it don't work again as far as the under eye concealer, I definitely will use it to spot treat. But as of right now, would I recommend this to somebody? I don't know. Part of me wants to say yes, and a part of me wants to say no. I don't know, like right now, I can't say whether or not I would recommend it. I, I'm, I don't really like it, but I don't hate it either. So that's pretty much my stance with it. Like I'm right there in the middle. Like I don't hate it or love it. Try it again to see if I have a different outcome. I, most likely I won't, <laughs> but I'm still gonna try it out again. If that don't work, I am gonna use it as a spot concealer, but yeah, that's my thoughts on this. But anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see y'all later. Bye.